Hi, this is Les Hasbargan. This tutorial shows you how to uh, mark contacts along a, a cross-section line, this black line here, and then how to export those as a file that is readable into a spreadsheet. So we want to catch all of the places where we would like to draw lines down from our topographic uh, profile and make this a geologic cross-section. So we'll start from the south and move to the north and just mark places of interest. So our first one here is this strike dip symbol and we'll just put a point right there. Actually, I don't want that. I want uh, a point. So we'll click a point and so we will call this, I'll just dip 20 north. And we want to put this into a new uh, layer. And we will call that layer our contacts um, cross section. I may as well make this site specific. Okay, and UTM zone 11 is correct. Okay, so now we have that over here, and we're just going to keep adding. So here we have the syncline. I'll type that. And we can just click OK, and we can keep adding. Put a fault in here. Like there's a strike dip that's going to project over here. Um, I think that's a steeper dip, but uh, we'll put in 82 for now. And this is south. And so you would just move along your um, profile here and keep selecting places where contacts cross the cross-section line. Now I'm going to simplify my life by ignoring the yellow and uh, so where I hit this one right here this is just going to be the contact between two rock types sediments and this is actually a schist. And then my next contact of interest is up here. This will be a schist over a granite. And then we've got a sandstone over a granite. And so forth. And this will be a strike dip. And this is two north. I'm going to put another one up here, north, and uh, that's a good place to start. So I will pause right there. Um, actually what we can do is just proceed with writing out uh, the, these as a uh, text file. So we want to uh, unselect all of the other all of the other layers except for our elevation data and for whatever reason uh, this is freezing up. So I think I'll just pause here and open this again when we're ready to write these out. 